Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th of June, 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I do wanna take just a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate just a little better. If you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath this video, and I will be happy to set that up for you. Also, keep in mind in a general reading that the roles can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading, and also timelines can vary. So let's go ahead and start. Spirit, can I have the energy of Taurus? Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, we start out with judgment in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So Taurus, um, the first thing I want to say is that there is a karmic lesson that is being learned. Um, not surprising. I mean, we're here to do that. We're here to learn lessons and, um, you know, having learned those lessons to move forward. So, you know... Um, this is one of those lessons for you. It does look like there is something here that um, was deceitful. And it could have been anything. Lying, cheating, stealing. Uh, you know, something that was discovered though. So you've discovered something. Something has come to light. It has been discovered. And as a result of this, you are not trying to give this a second chance. Um, with judgment in reverse, um, you're not trying to renew something here. You're... you're you're done with something um, to the point that you may have shut down the communication with it. You may have even blocked this person. Um, yeah, you're, you're done with this situation and it's a result of something that you feel is deceitful. Now let's see who you're dealing with. Who is Taurus dealing with? Who is Taurus dealing with? That's way too many. We're not doing that. Who is Taurus dealing with? Okay. All right, so we have the lovers in reverse. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, you may be dealing um, with an air sign. That would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Don't have to be though. It could just be somebody that has air in their chart or they could be behaving like an air sign. And then we have the Empress in reverse. Um, Empress would be, um, it could be Taurus. Um, so it could be a focus on you or it could be also Libra. Now, so what I'm seeing here, um, Taurus, is that the person you are connected with there is a decision that needs to be made here. Um, it is a big decision. So it's either between two people or it, it is between, um, it is between, it, I'm sorry, it's either between two people, which now that I'm looking at it, could be between the Queen of Swords and the Empress. That's a possibility. Um, or you might, this person might have a decision that's just a very big decision in love. Regardless, this person is not making the decision. They are holding back. They're resistant to making this decision for some reason. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of anger that is in their energy. Um, and if not anger, they're disgruntled for sure. Um, with the Empress in reverse, there is either a lack of self-esteem with this person or there could possibly just be that this person is not feeling abundant. They're not feeling as if they have the ability to grow and to produce and to, um, to create, okay? Um, also worthy to note that there is a karmic lesson that this individual is experiencing as well in this situation. So you're both working together here um, to learn some kind of a karmic uh, lesson. So let's see what is the energy of this connection. Show me the energy of this connection, please. Okay. 
okay, the star. Okay, so there's healing that's taking place. Yeah, both parties are trying to heal and to balance things out. Um, what is directly affecting this connection? What is directly affecting this connection? Okay, so there's a lack of a um, foundation here, possibly a broken contract of some sort. So this could be a written contract, it could be a um, verbal contract, but there's a contract. It could be even a soul contract, but there's a contract or a foundation that has been broken. And now healing is taking place. Um, what is the outcome at the end of the week? Show me the outcome, please, at the end of the week. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Nine of Cups. So that's good. Um, so the outcome at the end of the week is that there's going to be a um, release of all this worry and concern. Now... Um, that's primarily on your side here, Taurus. Your anything that had you upset, feeling you know in turmoil, it's going to end. So that's good. That's really good. And um, for the person that you're connecting with, um, I see that there is whatever it is that they're hoping for, that they're wishing for, that's going to be realized. Um, so it looks like there's a good outcome. For both parties by the end of the week so that's good that's really good all right at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups in the reverse so the underlying energy in this connection is that there is a holding back of emotion so both parties holding back emotions so let's see um let's start clarifying why is judgment in reverse for Taurus So we have the Fool in reverse, and we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so you're not you're not going to give this a second chance. I don't know if that's part of what's in the um, you know equation here, if that's been offered. But if it has, Taurus, you are saying no. I'm not taking a leap of faith with you. I'm not jumping back into this. And in fact, I'm going to walk away from it because I'm not being emotionally fulfilled here. Um, so I will walk away in order to find my own fulfillment. Um, why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So what has been revealed is that somebody has has been giving their resources elsewhere. Now, it hasn't been great resources. It's been small, but there's been both love and money resources that have been given elsewhere. And I think you have discovered this, Taurus, and you, you're not happy about it. Um, why is the Eight of Wands? Yeah, you've made a decision. So you've blocked this person or um, you're not communicating. There, there might be something you're not communicating. And if that's it, well, you've decided that you're going to have a brand new start um, elsewhere. You're going to have a brand new start. And I think that, you know, you're focused on your money um, more so than your money and your stability. So you're not communicating it to this person, but you've made the decision already. And it has to do, you, you're you done here. And you're, you've made the decision to have a brand new start elsewhere. You're probably not communicating it. You're keeping that to yourself. And it, it's because you've discovered that this person has been deceptive. They have been putting their, their resources elsewhere. Okay, so let's look at who you're dealing with here. We have the lovers in reverse. Why is the lovers in reverse? All right, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, and we have the 
eight of eight of um, rods in reverse. So, so they're not they're not taking any action, and they're not communicating either. So they're really just not taking action. They're not communicating. Um, they're and they're not making a decision. <laughs> They, they're not making any kind of decision. And the decision that they're not making here would be to, if they are involved with someone else, they're not making a decision to end that. They're also not making a decision about moving. For some of you guys, there's a move. They're just not making any decision. They're not doing anything. Um, why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? The High Priestess in reverse. And the Seven of Coins in reverse. Okay, so with the High Priestess in reverse, that is, um, <laughs> that's a secret. That's a secret that has come out. Um, this person's not very happy about it. A secret has come out, um, and that secret has to do with bad investments. It could be an investment, um, that they, it could have been a bad investment, something to do with a bad investment. They're not happy about it. They're not happy about, about secrets coming out. They're not happy about investments that are not turning out well um, there may be a loss having to do with investments and so this person is is not very happy about it they're they're upset they're upset it looks as if they tried to keep it quiet so there might be something to do with investments that have gone badly and, and a loss has been created. It didn't turn out the way they thought. And that has come out in the open. And they're not happy about that. They're very upset about that. Um, why is the Empress in reverse? Why is the Empress in reverse? We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the Hangman in reverse. Yeah, so they're not feeling they're not feeling very bountiful. They're not feeling productive. They're not feeling as if, you know, they're not feeling as if their world that they're creating here is growing and bountiful and full. They're they're feeling quite the opposite in fact. Um so this person this person is getting a new perspective. They've had, they've changed their perspective. Um, so I do think that there is an ending that is taking place. It's because they feel as if this connection, Taurus, is not, um, it's not growing. They feel as if the connection's not growing. They didn't always feel this way. And so their, their thoughts after a period of time, their thoughts on this connection are changing. And so they're feeling as if um, that the connection's not growing. It's not becoming everything that they had hoped it would. Yeah. They may also be feeling as if um, it just didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. They thought it would. And so now they're viewing it very differently. Um, let's see why the star is here. Why is the star here for the connection? The devil in reverse and the hermit in reverse. So both parties are healing, but it looks like both parties are healing independently. So Taurus, you're letting go of all this toxic energy. You feel this is toxic. Um, and if, if what you're, you're telling me is true, there is toxic elements to it, and you're releasing that. You're releasing that. You've decided to let that go and to block this person, basically, and to have a prosperous beginning of your own. 
the person you're connected with, I feel like they kind of pulled back. They may even be experiencing a little bit of depression. Um, but I feel as if this person, they pulled back. They, um, they maybe were not really communicating. It wasn't, you know, for any reason that they were trying to cause harm. They were trying to figure things out. Um, and also, they were, they're trying to heal as well. Remember, both parties are learning karmic lessons. So you're releasing the toxicity. They're trying to heal and to, to understand what's taking place. Um, both parties are just trying to, to heal through this. So let me see um, what is directly affecting it. So there's a foundation here or a contract that has been broken. Okay, so, so Taurus, you're saying that it was a contract in love. Yeah, so a contract in love, a basis, a, a foundation in love was broken. Um, and that's what's directly affected this. Because at one time, this connection was what both parties wanted. Um, I will tell you that the person you are connected with, Taurus, they do have some regrets for what they, what has happened here. Yeah, they they do have some regrets. There's some sadness. Um, let me see. Let's see the outcome. Can I have three for the outcome, please? Okay, so in the outcome, like I said, I, I do see for you, Taurus, um, these things that cause so much upset, I do see that ending. It's going to end um, when the masculine energy ends the connection. So I do see the connection ending. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So that tells me that whoever the committed partner is, the masculine energy, and actually it wouldn't even be the masculine because that's a Taurus, um, that, that is actually a earth sign. So Taurus, you will be likely the one who ends this connection. I think you're going to power up. You're going to be the one who ends the connection. Um, yeah. I do think you're going to be the one who ends this connection. Um, and it's because you are putting an end to the, the problems. You're putting an end to the emotional distress, all the problems. Um, you also, though, have the King of Wands in the reverse. So for some of you, there may be somebody here that you may be wanting to start something new with. If so, it could be a um, fire sign. And that would be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so what I'm seeing is that you're really not going to have to do a lot to end this. You're not going to have to take a lot of action here. Um, for the person you're connected with, I think that they may not be saying it, but that's they're hoping that you will take the action to end it because, again, we have the Empress in reverse. And so this person um, is not seeing that the connection is growing. And you know what? I think you're fed up with this person not taking action, Taurus. You're fed up with this person not doing anything, not taking action. So you're, you're going to do that. You're going to take the action is what it looks like. Yeah. You're fed up. You know what? That's what it looks like. It looks to me like you are just good and fed up. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. But in any event, um, the person you're connected with, I do think that, you know, they, they're going to move forward and they're going to focus on, you know, independently what it is that is going to make them happy. And I do think that they feel that this connection is not growing. So, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Coins in the reverse, which does tell me that there is an ending coming. 
that's an ending of a long-term connection. But Taurus, I think that you, you've made the decision. You have the plans. Um, whatever this is that was done deceitfully, this person that you're dealing with gave both of their emotions and their, their money. Um, and you found it out. You've discovered it. It's been, it's been shown. You're done. And you're, t you're sick and tired of them not taking action either. So, you know, I think you're just going to take matters into your own hands. All right. So if you would, Taurus, go ahead and get a direct question in your mind. I'm going to pull the Angel Answers Oracle and we'll see if we can get a direct answer. Spirit, I'm pulling for Taurus. Okay, well, you got two cards, so let's see what we have. Nobody else has gotten two cards. All right, so you may even ask two questions if you want. Get two questions. So um, the answer to your first question is compromise. Okay, compromise. And the answer to the second is no. Okay, all right. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you would, be sure to um, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, drop me a comment as well. I do read all of your comments. And until I see you next week, namaste.